Hello everyone. In Fedora Workstation or Genome Desktop, there are some apps that help you customize your desktop. First is Genome Tweaks. Genome Tweaks help you select themes, change your top panel, or change windows, and much more. VIT automatically downloads and switches wallpaper and also offers quotes and clock. With the app editor you can change app icons and also app category in which they fall. The Conf Editor is going to be used in my next video. There are some extensions that improve productivity and help customization. First is Activities Configurator that does not only configure activities button but also change the top panel color application menu is a button in your top panel for quickly accessing categories app in your top panel background logo helps you change fedora logo into any image you want floating in your desktop dash to dog generates taskbar of any size in other location you want disconnect wi-fi adds a button to disconnect wi-fi and also reconnect when it's disconnected do not disturb button simply silence your notification Launch new instance launches new application when open from shell app menu as you see Pomodoro is an app for increasing productivity everyone should have with removable drive menu you can view and access mounted devices this option is also available in taskbar refresh wi-fi button adds the button to refresh your wi-fi connection with system monitor you can monitor your system performance and also disk usage top icon plus is must to have app with this you can monitor background activities and also and also control apps running in the background like i am using variety that is running in the background user theme comes with genome tweaks it helps you select shell themes from your directory welcome to the yeah. fedora magazine says that with terminal we can install four types of Teams. It also directs towards genome look or open desktop for manually installing themes. Let's try. 
आई एम सर्चिंग थीम विद डी एन एफ सर्च कर सर थीम कमांड In terminal, you can't see how the theme looks like. You are reading in front view. All you have to do is install all the themes and find useful one. After applying this. You can apply these themes from Genome Tricks. Some themes will work, other will not be visible in Genome Tricks. Genome Tricks is the best way to find whether themes are supported or not. I don't want DMZ cursor to be present in my hardware so I am going to remove it. You can install and check any theme you desire but I am not in favor of installing themes through terminal. All the themes installed through terminal are available to all the users. But if you try installing bunch of files and bunch you removing, you will not know what you are going to remove and what you are compromising, then you may have what I had. I try to remove bunch files in which I did not notice that there were genome themes that were stock in Fedora then terminal removed all the GTK things that were related to visual then my oh, PC opened in a black screen that is called server mode But luckily, I noticed the history number that I that DNF says for this command. Then I reverted the this command by just typing sudo DNF history undo one thirty seven. But to work this properly, you need to have working internet connection through Ethernet and also time enough to wait and watch what is going on I don't recommend terminal anymore themes installed through terminal are stored in computer or root then USR then share then icons themes and uh, cursor themes are saved in icons as you see you can't edit or delete these folders to do do this you need to open nautilus that is your file explorer in sudo mode or root access Simply type sudo nautilus. Here you will find your themes in file system root, user, share, 
icons and cursor themes and icons you can delete here what themes you want to remove but keep in mind there are some themes that were installed already that were stock so don't delete these if you delete these you will face some gtk or viewing issues similarly shell themes can be deleted uh, gtk themes can be deleted from themes menu but don't delete stock themes like advita default or something this to avoid these confusions it is recommended to create a dot theme folder and dot icon folder in your home directory themes will be available to current user for changing if you want other users to have you can share these by just copying and paste the themes we are going to download should be placed in these after extraction should be extracted first and then placed in these folders and will be detected by genome tweaks on a restart yes you have to restart genome tweaks on genome look you can see there are almost all the themes you need more than demanded you can download and extract and simply place cursor and icon themes in dot icons folder created in your home for home directory and shell and gtk themes in theme dot themes folder created in your home directory and you will see all the supported themes in your genome tweaks on next to restart For changing the top panel color, use extension activities configurator and for taskbar use dash to dock for changing the color. I hope you enjoyed the video, goodbye.